junior college did not dress in, in uh, offensive costumes? Are they talking about that? Live here. Plugins live. I'm going to test the Ingol. This is probably the best uh, guitar amp plugin there is uh, out there, at least currently, from uh, Plugin Alliance and Brainworks. Now, I already have a video on this much more in depth. And this, we're just basically going to run through, you know, noodle around with it a bit and go through all of the impulse responses that are included. And we're going to do it live. We're doing it live. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started here with this. See how the stream works. Output's a little low right now, but once the video is completely rendered, it will, uh, the stream should, should be okay. It's a little low right now. But nonetheless, go through here. And we'll see uh, how it does. All right, so let me grab, I have to grab my guitar here. So first off, let's go to Plugin Alliance. Head over there. Gonna look for. All right. So here's the angle on the Plugin Alliance site. It's a pretty expensive guitar amp, but like I said, it's probably the absolute best uh, guitar amp, the single best, if you could only get like one, you know. If you could only get one, make sure that stream's going okay. If you could only get one uh, guitar amp, then it would definitely be this one here. Because it can go from extreme heavy to extremely clean. Like I said, a bit expensive, but it's uh, it's worth it. Especially, I mean, they'll put it on sale from time to time, so it's uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, 
you know, whenever the cool thing about Plugin Alliance is whenever you buy a certain number of their plugins, uh, you start getting vouchers every single month. It might be a $25 voucher. It might be a $50 voucher. But it's pretty cool that you end up getting vouchers to get uh, you know get money off of uh, of the plugins, and they also have the pick pack, which you know I might do a video about that eventually. You know the pick pack here where you can get ten plugins, twenty nine dollars a month for twenty nine months. Well, it's, it's, that's not bad. I really, I mean, Plugin Alliance is one of my favorite plugin companies uh, that there is. They make some really great stuff. You know, especially you know especially the Brainworks brand. They're really really great at what they do. But let's head back to uh, Pro Tools here. Get that out of the way. All right. So I'm going to have to grab my guitar here. Turn off the mic for a second. there in the uh, while I'm doing other stuff all right let's grab a cable get this thing hooked up test out this angle here get the strap on on the guitar that is <laughs> all right okay Plugged in, and find my pick. All right, let's come up here. Now I'm using a nine-string guitar here. Let me find the pictures that I have. Fill this up here. So that's what I'm using here. I've been using a nine-string guitar for uh, a while now. I don't think I could ever go back to a six after the uh, nine string. Now I tune mine a little bit different. I'll take the standard tuning of the B of the seventh string and drop it down to A. That way you get sort of, uh, you get all the benefits of drop tuning with, from your seventh string right to your sixth. Plus you still have everything in standard from E to E. So you still have your sixth string guitar, plus you have your seventh, and then of course you have your eighth and your ninth string as well. All right, get rid of that. Pull that back up. All right, so right now we have the angle pulled up here. And the angle comes, come in here. Actually, let's come down here to Plug-in Alliance. And this, this is the mono version, but we have Stereo Maker on this as well, which is one of my favorite uh, plugins there is. Uh, also, you know, from uh, Plug-in Alliance. Let's go ahead and get this uh, input monitored. This. I'm probably going to have to tune up first. Turn that down a bit. Turn off this uh, monitors. Turn those down so we don't have bleed into the microphone. All right. Let's grab the tuner here. This is a separate purchase here. The BX tuner. One of the uh, best tuners out there.
settle in there. That's good. So as I mentioned, I'm using the angle here, and we're using Stereo Maker, just because of uh, how I like to hear it as I'm testing this here. If I bypass that, of course it's much more down the middle that way. Turn it back on, but let me come over here to this track, which is a mono track with uh, the angle on it. Because, you know, whenever you're recording, you're probably going to be using the mono uh, version. You'll probably be doing multiple takes, more than likely. So just be aware of that whenever I'm going through these. The reason I have, like I said, the reason I have the stereo maker on here is just because I'm going to have my monitors on as I'm going through this. So I can actually sort of you know, hear it a little better. I can't uh, play with headphones. It just doesn't sound very accurate. So the angle, like I said, I already have another video on this. It's, pre it's pretty straightforward. It can be a little confusing with all of the, uh, as you can see, all of the options here. It would be nice if they made this resizable because of the, you know, the type is pretty pretty small, but there's a lot of options here. As you see, you have your clean, your clean, or your crunch two, lead three, lead four, right? And you can set all this up. You can you have different master outputs that you can switch between on the fly, which is really nice. Channel three, I actually like channel three quite a bit. My monitor here in Pro Tools. <laughs> Four. We can really clean this thing up, which is crazy with an amp like this, which gets so dirty. If you notice here, we're on channel four. Here's my lead gain right here. Look where, look how low that is. We take this way up. You can get as much gain out of this amp as you want, but we don't need that much, really. That's pretty good there. But if we go to channel one, look how much this cleans up. Move the mic out of the way so you're not getting the buzz. Even when you come, uh, even when you strike it really hard, it's not breaking up at all. It's very clean. This is channel two. rack here 
integrated delay on this. there if you want back here let's go back to channel four and what I want to do here switch my pickup so this has let me turn that delay off lead volume is fine so this has of course your bass your middle and we also have this middle voice the middle voice is on right now so we turn that off Come back on. Back off. Of course, there's a bit of a, a difference there in the volume, so I'll compensate a bit with that. cool mode that middle voice and you can of course adjust that as such but I'll turn that off for now we're gonna head back to the effects rack now the way this works instead of choosing like a cabinet you know and adjusting your microphone you choose impulse responses uh, that are included here so what we're gonna do we're gonna run through all of these because I wasn't able to do that in the actual in the actual video because it would just go it would just go too long but in this we're just going live so whatever do whatever we want here. So I'll probably run through them twice. One with uh, middle voiced off and then one with the middle voiced on. So we have our, our gate set up, which this is one of the best gates out there, especially integrated into this amp. You can get really genty with this. So you really take it up. We can take our range down too if we want. We'll go my eighth string. Cut, that cuts right off. That may be a bit too much there, but you can get, you can take the range down, for example. See it cut off, but you still hear some of the guitar through it. So if you really want to cut it off, you really, you really want to get jinty with it, you can take your range way up. Take your threshold up. That's actually a little high. Go to the ninth string. right off. Pick it up a little bit more. All right. One of the best gates out there, but that's too high for our purposes here. And that's probably good. Test it out here. Alright, so we're going to run through these, all these uh, impulse responses. I'm going to use this auto function here. It's a really cool feature that we have in, uh, I think all the Brainworks amps have this auto feature. So we can just turn this on, and it's going to go one bar. We don't even have to be playing back in the DAW. It's going to go for a you know, one bar length, and then switch the impulse response for us. So for example... <laughs> So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with one right there. We're going to turn on auto. I'm going to turn off the mic and I'm going to turn on my, my uh, monitors so I can play a little better. Uh, I can't really play very well through headphones because I'd like to, I like to feel this amp here. Just easier to play without the, uh, without the headphones and I don't want the microphone picking up the uh, guitar. So turn off the mic and turn on my monitors here and we're going to play through these here. Now keep in mind, I got the uh, middle voiced off. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna turn the middle voiced on. 
we'll run through all of them again. All right. Auto here, and we're going to play through this. Okay, so some of them don't sound very well. Some of them don't uh, get that out of the way. Some of them don't sound great, at least not with this guitar, at least not you know with our settings here. So keep in mind, whenever you set this amp up, you just sort of set up the basic sound you want. Then you come in here, and you can use your auto to uh, you know cycle through all of your different recording chains. There's some really good ones in here for metal. I was trying to listen. Turn down my monitors here so we don't get feedback into the microphone. And 14 was really good.
That one's great. Another one I like is if we go to the SM57 times three. It's a couple of these here are really good for a high gain. <laughs> Let me get up stereo maker and me turn this off for a second. And one of the one of the uh, one of the great things about the angle here, the from Plugin Alliance, is it doesn't have that top end fizz, that awful horrible top end fizz that is just, you know, it's in a lot of different uh, uh, amp plugins out there that's just impossible to get rid of you end up destroying the tone this one doesn't have that in there at all plus we have this top end filter the smooth filter you can put that on post or pre but i do it on post and you can smooth that out uh, right here without having to add another plugin which is pretty pretty nice to have that in there as well try this one here black metal with that if you want. That's one of my favorite ones there, number 16. Like I said, you don't even need that much gain with this amp. You could really turn this down and still get. And then the secret setup, pretty nice. Secret setup B. It's also this one fits in really well with uh, you just throw a guitar or a uh, whatever drum virtual instrument that you like on the track. You have to do very little in post with the secret setup B. Of course, it depends on you know of course what you like, but this amp, this amp plugin sounds probably the most realistic. So you can use you know whatever you want to mix after you've. Uh, you know, recorded everything. But now we're going to turn on the middle voice. I'm going to run through all these again because it sounds, you know, very different. We also have a presence control and the depth punch, which is really cool. As you can see, I have my bass down very low. Down here. We still have, we still have plenty of low end because of this depth punch. We turn that way down. And turn it back up. Way up here. Right. You really get that punch in there. But you got to be careful with 